My name is Anish Momin from Avaya Client Services. In this video, we will see how to create Identity SHA-256 certificate for Avaya SBC using Avaya Aura System Manager CA. First log in to the Avaya SBC web interface, then go to TLS Management, Certificates. You get an option called as Generate CSR. So first we need to generate the CSR from SBC, provide all the details and then we can get the CSR signed by the system manager CA. When we click on generate CSR, it provides a lot of options like the country name, common name, subject alternative name. So all these uh, details needs to be required to be filled. And when you fill these details, uh, you need to make sure for what the CSR is being generated. So currently I'm going to generate the CSR for the external interface of SBC. And in the same way you can generate uh, for the internal interface of SBC. So the country name, US, tell us locality name will be organization name Avaya UGSS common name can be the short host name of the SBC so I'll just mention it as SBC external algorithm should be SHA-256 key size 2048 bits key usage extension key insurfement non-repetition and digital signature extended key usage server authentication and client authentication subject alternative name this is an important uh, field which requires your IP address or the domain name of your server so the IP address I'll provide the external IP here external interface IP that is 10.192.0.65 comma and the DNS will be gl.com Passphrase, this is the private key passphrase which will be generated when we create this CSR. This needs to be kept safely because it will be required at the later stage. Contact name, monies and our email will be test at oir.com. Click on generate CSR and it will provide you all the details and what we provided in the CSR like the subject, country is US state is Dallas, location Texas, organization Avaya, organization unit GSS and the common name as SBC external. You can also have the IP address, you can provide the external IP address in the common name itself too. And if you go down, the CA, the CA is showing as false because this is not a certificate authority. We are creating an identity certificate and since this is a CSR, this CA will be false. And the key usage which we selected like the digital signature, non-reproduction and key insurfement. The extended key usage, web server authentication and web client authentication. And the subject alternative name. If you see here, we had provided the external interface IP and the DNS as gl.avaya.com. You need to download both. Download CSR and download private key. Once the CSR is generated, then log in to the system manager web interface and go to security certificates authority and you'll see a lot of options on the left side just go to add an entity you see uh, the options same as we when we generated the CSR so in the end entity profile you need to select external CSR profile since we have created a CSR from the SBC this username is a different username than, than the one which we provided in the SBC CSR. So this will be required when we want to generate the identity certificate. So I'm just going to give as Anis 123 and the password as Avaya123. This is not the same password as the private key password which we generated. Email address will be test at avaya.com. And rest of the details should be same. It should match the same details as we generated while creating this CSR. So the common name we had created as SBC external. Locality is Texas. The DNS name we had provided as gl.com. 
pavaya.com and the IP address was 10.139.65 this will be the external interface IP address which we provided since we are creating the certificate for external interface now clients the certificate profile will be the ID client server CA this is a temp default CA since we are create when we are generating the certificate uh, the identity certificate we are getting it signed by the system manager CA click on add go to search and entities and you can select all and search and you should see the end entity which you have created so this is the one which I had created next step is go to public web and create certificate from CSR now this is the username which we created while we were creating the end entity so this was Anis123 and Avaya123 and choose the CSR file which you have created so this is the CSR which you had created and at the bottom you'll see option as PEM certificate only so I'll select OK and you'll see the same details what we had provided while generating the CSR like the common name organization unit organization location state country and the issuer so this is the issuer so we have got it signed by the system manager CA and now you can download the certificate and save on your system once the certificate is downloaded, go back to the SBC web interface, TLS management, certificates. Now there is an option called as install. Go to install. Now there are three options certificate, CA certificate, certificate revocation list. So I'm going to install this identity certificate. So select certificate and same name I'll provide SBC external. You can select both over existing allow weak certificate key select the certificate file and upload key file so upload key file if there is no key file uh, entered or uploaded into the SBC but since already we have created the CSR from SBC you don't require to upload a key file and you can see at the bottom that SBC external key is already generated so just click on upload now you'll see the same CSR details which you had filled and the certificate is created. So if you cross check the common name which we had provided SBC external and the subject alternative name was IP address of external interface and the DNS gl.avaya.com. Just click on install. Certificate installation successful and now you see this SBC external PEM. Now other step is to install the system manager CA. So go to CA certificate, provide the name system manager CA, overwrite existing, allow weak certificate, choose file and if I go to desktop there is a system manager CA. Load Warning the provided certificate is not a valid CA certificate but it's a valid self signed certificate. Just click on proceed and you'll see the system manager CA. Now if you check the CA it is showing as true since this is the system manager CA. Click on install and now you'll see the system manager CA into the installed CA certificates. After the certificates have been installed click on client profiles click on add I'll select SPC external the certificate which was created was SPC external PA certificate authorities as system managers CAPM verification depth will be 1 if you have intermediate CA certificate and uh, root CA certificate then the verification depth will go as 2 but since we only have a root CA certificate that is a system manager CA the verification depth will be 1 click on next here you get options as the version details so what particular type of TLS version you want to select the TLS 1.2, TLS 1.1, I'll select TLS 1.2 Cypher's default click on finish so if you see here 
the client profile will have SBC external as a certificate. Now go to server profiles, click on add, mention SBC external, same and here you don't need to provide uh, any verification depth or peer authentication, peer verification. If you want to select, you can select optional or required, but currently I'm selecting as none since I don't want peer verification for the server side. Click on next, same and finish. So you have the SBC external certificate for the server profile. After the certificates have been installed, we need to assign the certificate to the external interface. So go to device specific settings, signaling interface. And now I'm selecting remote worker external signaling since I want to apply the certificate to the external signaling interface. So I go to edit, I provide my port 5061 and the TLS profile I'll select SBC external and click on finish. After we assign the SBC external identity certificate to the external interface. Now when you go to the dashboard, you'll see that a alarm has been raised that is could not read the private key now we had created the private key when generating the csr so now you need to go to the cli interface of sbc after you log into the sbc cli switch to root you need to log into the ems go to the folder slash usr local ipcs cert key and when you list, you'll see the SBC external key already available. Now run the command encrypt underscore key. Select the key file and the password which you had provided when generating the CSR. And you'll get a output as writing RSC key. Now go to the SBC web interface. After you log into the SBC web interface, you'll see that error which was coming as uh, could not read the private key will go. This is a procedure to install the identity certificate on the SBC external or internal interfaces. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at .com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.